Tonight we're focusing on what some parents and students in San Francisco are worrying about. The school district is facing a severe financial crisis and just about an hour ago the board wrapped up a special meeting to try to deal with it. ABC 7 News reporter J.R. Stone was there talking with parents who want to know if their kid's school might close. He's in the newsroom with the story. J.R., the school year just started. This isn't what anyone wants to hear. It certainly is not, Dan. The district says their school should be at 95% capacity, but they're at 91%. They've gone from 53,000 students in 2012 to 49,000 students now. Let's be clear, though. This is the start of what will be a months-long conversation about what they should do and what they will do. No school's been put on the chopping block just yet. I was just talking with a community. Nearly every seat full at this San Francisco Unified School District special meeting to address budgeting, staffing, and planning. Most in this crowd here, though, because they are concerned about possible school closures. We don't need to close any schools. With the speaker I've been talking about, it's really um, managerial incompetence. But during a presentation Tuesday night, the district revealed that they have lost 4,000 students since 2012 and expect to lose another 4,600 students in the next nine years. Enrollment has declined and will continue to decline. The district says they are also struggling to staff schools that aren't full and had a 21% staffing shortage as of mid-August. The plan is to form a district advisory committee to address those issues in the months ahead. The parents we talked with said that sounds like a recipe to close schools, and they believe certain communities will suffer. School closures happen in major cities. They always target our black and brown students, and those are where our students need more investing. If schools close, who loses out? Black and brown children. Black and brown children, particularly black and brown children in Baby Hunter's Corn. The San Francisco Unified School District uses a choice-based system where kids can apply to schools outside of the neighborhood they live in. The dark areas of this map show where students live, including the southeastern section of the city. And the dark section of this map shows where they go to school. The schools serving low-income kids, more black and brown students are getting fewer requests. Then their enrollment goes down. Then they lose staff. Then they can't make their programs. You know, it's worth noting that the school district has a policy to move to a zone system for our elementary schools that has basically been pushed to the back burner. Multiple commissioners discussed the idea of going to a zone system to better identify where changes should be made. As of right now, though, that's one of many ideas being talked about. So the plan is to now put this district advisory committee together. The school board won't actually vote on any sort of plan until April of next year. So lots of work to be done going forward. The district either needs to bring in more money, reorganize what they get, or cut money, and all of those equate to some sort of changes. J.R. Stone, ABC 7 News.